Yo, this is it on the plays Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Oh, Mount Teapot. You have been different. This is more of a water based, uh, at least in the beginning, but now we're gonna climb up the mountain, and now it's gonna be more about jumping upwards, and upwards and upwards in order to reach the skies. Because sky's the limit, isn't it? Well, is it? We'll find out. Let's go for the next course. Course number 9. We're still in the water, and be careful here. And we can see already why. Yeah, these things here are so close to the water that you, you probably can't even dodge them. So just jump across from them. Uh, let's just go up here. Oh, nice! Garlic! That won't help them though, because they don't care. At least we can go up here and collect some more hearts. Ah, nothing more about that. Let's just continue. Now here we have... Oh, what? I wasn't even hitting it! Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. I busted myself for that. I still have another garlic here, though, so at least I go back to regular Wario. And for some reason, the uh, seahorse is gone. Okay, that was, that was worth it, guys. Yeah, really worth it. Let's go up here, and we see there's another shell guy here. We wait for it to pass. And then go up, and you can charge it. Some more hearts. Dodge this guy if you want to. And go up the uh, ladder here. Watch out for this guy. Wait for it to go past, and then go up and charge. Then move across. Next part of the stage. Let's dodge. Just get this guy away from us. The heart. Another coin and another heart. Almost a level a uh, one up. Yeah, I said it. Exit life. A little level up with one up. Jump over him and then we just go up here. Can we go up here? Mm, there must be a way, right? Of course. Ah, so okay. We didn't need to use the jet Mario. You can you can just go up here. Let's go inside here and check what we can find. Ah, it was just a checkpoint. Very nice. Now we are, we are Jet Wario, we can use checkpoint. Just click this heart here and continue. To climb even further up. Now we have these bouncy bar guys again. Remember these guys? Yeah. These guys like to put some things like this. Toss them down, and they can be dangerous. Let's just... Hey, catch! Catch your friend. I really like Jet War. Jet War is like the exploration warrior, while walking war is just uh, you no know, overpower your enemies. Oh, watch out. You don't want to get hit by the spiky ball. Remember, you can't charge them while they're walking to you, because that's going to be bad. Because they have a spike on their stomach, so you'll be uh, taking, you'll be hurt. Let's give them both. Continue jumping upwards, because this is what this level is about. It's about going up and up and up. Another jet uh, warrior upgrade. Though know, you shouldn't really take these upgrades if you already have one. You should just let it be there because in case you lose yours. Now I'm wondering, okay, what is this block here about? I'm about to show you guys very soon. But first, let's just continue here. Making some more stuff here. And look at that. That's a key. You know what it means? What does it mean? If there's a key, that means there must be a skeleton hole somewhere. Treasure, treasure, where are you? We didn't see any treasure places here. And to the right, that's just exit to the level. Where is it then? Well, do you remember this uh, block we just crushed? Well, what if... We do this. Aha! It's a secret entrance! Yeah, sometimes there are secrets even hidden that you can't even see. Jump up here. A giant coin. That's a hundred coins. Right there. Just toss away the key right for now. And then blast up these things. Click the key again. Walk across. And we collect ourselves some more treasure, guys. Get inside. Because time for another treasure. And here we go. Treasure number two has been acquired. Or should we say treasure number B? Because they're labeled by letters. 
Treasure B is ours. That's we collected two treasures. We still have 13 more treasures to collect before we can complete our treasure hunt. This is nice though, at least. Let's go back here again. Watch out for this uh, thing here. Let's go across from it. Go in here. Watch out for these enemies. They are really dangerous. These are flying bombs, as I like to call them. I just jump on them, that's pretty simple. There's the exit. One exit this level, so just use 10 coins. And we cash in! Now, should we try to play now? Yeah, let's try to gamble. Because we can get big here. Let's go with the left one first. Damn it! It was a, f that was a phony! Ah, we lost half our coins. Try left again. Come on, can't be left right twice, can it? Yeah, it wasn't. We got our coins back now. Should we still gamble them? Maybe either we get down to 67 or we will go up to over 260. Let's gamble with the right one then. Yes, we gamble correctly. Now coins in doubles and now 268 coins. That's almost half. That's like, yeah, that's actually more than half of what we have. We add now the coins, and now we're almost now suddenly over 750 coins. That's just nice. 778 coins. That's a nice boost of coins there. All right, now we're gonna reach the uh, peak of Mount Teapot. What can this place mean? Well, I guess we have to find out. So let's just go into the level. Course number 10. This course is a very Cool course. We're now at the very peak of this place, and it's a bit straightforward place. Um, let me see if we can find something here too. Like, oh, these birds are here still. Get away from me, birds! I don't like you. Go fly butter or someone else, please. Just get away from me. Get away! You're giving me nightmares. Why did I get that? That's like weird, because the heart, I guess the heart's not interactable if it's not up completely. Oh, I, I just love when I just beat that bird thing. Annoying little bird. Aha! I knew there was something else here. Yeah, remember you're on the top now, so even some special hidden places can be... Oh, that was, that was a bit tough. Should we get that garlic? Nope, we don't want to go at the garlic. Let's take a little more coins. Aha, we got the thing away. But remember, don't get hit by the thing, the spiky. Maybe the back is not spiky, that's good. Come on, birdie, get away from me. Yeah, get away. Another jet warrior if you want to collect one. You can't even go through here because we're too big. You can go up here if you want to go up a bit more, but you can also go down here to charge this thing, get some more hearts. You can go up here. Now we got a dragon warrior if you want to go that, but yeah, I mean, dragon warrior is okay because you can break things, basically everything, no matter what or whatever, but the problem with jet with uh, dragon warrior is that you can't charge. But at least you'll kill him pretty much everything that's uh, ahead of you. It's a starry night here at the top of Mount Teapot. This is a to the uh, tallest pl Oh! Damn you, birdie. This is the tallest place at least in, um, in, in this game. Tallest point. Go here. If you're not big enough, you have to go down here to go to the other side. Of course, we have enough. Let's just go to checkpoint. Get away at this uh, creepy little thing. Now, if you want to just gonna go through this level quickly without having to bother, we can do a little cool exit thing. But what's up more fun about that? Let's just continue. Let's go down here. But you could just you know fly with your jet warrior, fly to the other side, and you probably even reach the exit by here. But that was the fun about that. We need to go up and then we descend to the other side of Mount Teapot. That's where we have some more levels to play. Down to the bottom. Let's just continue. Down in the water. 
Oh, oh, whoa, 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 we don't want to fight you. You're a nasty thing. Nasty seahorse. Yeah, yeah, don't spin at me, please. Might not be friends, but... Oh. I went too close to him. I don't even remember if you actually can beat him by going on his stomach, but I'm... Guessing not. I don't want to take the risk. I did a bit cheat there as well, but that's a part of Jet Warrior. It's about flying! Flying because you believe in it. There we go. Is the bird not good enough to follow us? It just, you know, just goes in a swing and then turns away and says bye bye. Can we go up there even? I'm not sure, I see. No, we can't. Let's go inside here. Ah, this guy again. The very guy who chased it last time. You need to go up the uh, things here if you want to go to the other side, if you're not able to fly. I just cash up and go in. And with that we complete the second level here at Mount Teapot. Or in this other game, this is actually the fourth level, but the second level of this episode. Let's not gamble now, uh, let's just go on to the next level, because I want to do one more level before we end this episode. So there was no exit and no treasures in this level, that's uh, that's just how it's supposed to be. But it just feels a bit weird, isn't it? It's like something is missing in that level. Um, I want to go more in detail, you'll find out. Anyways, we continue to one more level, let's go for course number 11. So, last episode we were on the peak, I mean, not that's the last level, we were on the peak, and that was pretty cool, right? Well, now things are changing a bit. Now we're basically instead going to go a bit down again, to the other side. We're going to go to the inner parts of Mount Teapot. Let's just go back to uh, Viking Warrior, because Jet Warrior is okay, but here is more more power to have more power and strength. Get rid of these enemies. I'm gonna stun them. Just beat them like that, because Warriors has screw you. Get away from me, you creep. You can go down here if you want to. Oh, 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 not good. Of course, Warriors says, I'm just gonna stomp on you. Because I can. More hearts, so we can get more uh, more uh, extra lives. That's going to be important in case we lose lives. But technically, we should have more enough lives than to complete this game, anyways. Let's keep charting this place, and let's go down here, collect here, more coins. Aha! This place has a hidden uh, exit or a hidden entrance, perhaps. Let's just go through it. The next part. Oh, you bird! Get away from me, you freak! And we have another seahorse. Another enemy in sight. Just wait, wait, don't go too close to it. They're just gonna swing at you. I don't like you. I don't like you either, seahorse. Got a garlic in case you need to get big again, or if you want to go become a big, bulky Viking Wario. But of these things, you can't even hurt. So need to be careful. There's no way we can reach them, so no way we can hurt them. Let's go up here. There we go. Now we can get some cool things. We want to grab this uh, jet warrior. Go up here. You can't reach it, but if you bounce like this, you can reach it. Aha. This is basically how we travel in this game. And oh, look at this! Not a treasure place nearby, but we need to get a key. Lucky though, the key here is very close by. Just go like this. And here's the key. How simple is that, isn't it? Isn't that really nice? So, we go up here, jump up the key, and. Okay, that doesn't work. 
put the key under just the edge. Then you go up here. Bounce. There we go. Okay, need to go again. There we go. Now we'll go inside and collect your third treasure of the game. A nice crown. And with that, we got treasure C. Very nice. A, B, and C. Still, we need to get uh, 12 more treasures, so we still have a lot of more things to collect, but don't worry, guys, we'll be getting there as time goes on. Alright, that was pretty awesome, but we still have the level to clear. Let's just get away from this enemy, go in here. Go back with more sandy plates, this reminds me of the second level, or, yeah. Second level of the Rice Beach. This is a checkpoint. Let's just put some coins up here to check in case they go really bad. Okay, so what's special about this guy? This thing here is just gonna, gonna move in direction. It's basically what this thing is all about. It's about moving in a direction. So jump on it. It's gonna go left. Jump on the get. It's gonna go up. So you're gonna go different directions depending on how many times you jump on it. So if you, if you jump, um, let's say you jump and you want to collect all the coins, you want to jump a bit a few times to collect the coins, if not you're just going to jump on it, you're just going to go one direction, until you basically hit the other side. I don't really worry about the coins, so I'm just going to let it go. Aha! Yep! Just like in the Mario games, the warrior can also get a star and become invisible. Meaning that you can hit things, and if you hit in a missing succession, you get bonus. Look at this. That thing may look like water. That is lava or magma. Very bad. Don't touch. I promise you. It's not good. Well, because we're leaching now the inner parts of this place, and this place has some lava and magma, so that's kind of bad. But even this place bridge is kind of falling apart. Just fly over though if you want to. Oh, how nice of them! So this, this, some, sometimes the levels actually have the exits already open. It's not a trick. It's actually just how it is. I guess maybe some games they feel like okay. Some games maybe it's a bit tight on coins, and sometimes you may be a bit hard to get coins. Maybe after checkpoint, so you don't need to get coins. Oh, that's cool. Well, we just exit them and we complete course eleven. Should we do some gambling? Um, let's try to do the bomb thing again. Let's try course B. Get five more bombs. Let's see if we do better this time. Why is not that going to be jumped? Oh, that was way too slow. Remember, the more power of the bomb, the quicker bomb will travel. So we need to calculate a bit. Oh, that one hits! Oh, damn it. That's too bad. Wow. Need more power on that bomb to be able to hit it in time. <laughs> Come on, Wario. Don't hit on yourself. You have to hit the enemy, not yourself. You fool. Ah, I got hit one at least. That's nice. Alright, so here we see the bonus here for 40 coins. One hit is 50 uh, health, uh, heart points. Two hits is 70 heart points. Three hits is one extra life. Four hits is two extra lives. And five hits you get three extra lives. So that's, uh, that's a lot better. But still, I think the 100 coins must have the most value. Because you get a you get a uh, one up regardless of how many of you hit just once. That's nice. Oh, well, we are this screen close to another... Uh, Extra life, that's good for us. Now we have three treasures and we have 814 coins. That's pretty nice. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode we're going to continue here in Mount Teapot. We are now on uh, the uh, sixth stage. That's uh, pretty cool. But what awaits us now, that's going to be an important thing. Now we seem to be hitting some place of magma and lava. But where's the boss chamber? We haven't really seen the boss icon yet, so where is it? And what about that flying saucer above us, though? Is it just something that's going to stay there? Maybe it's a different world? It could be. 
We'll find out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys next time as my journey in Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, continues. <laughs>